But when I switched the topic, I, I was talking like, like, yellow and shit like that. Them like, who the fuck I was really talking about. Type hey, yo. Let me tell you something. Don't let Duck. Duck wasn't my big homie. Duck ain't run. Nothing I did. That was y'all big homie. Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, before we get into this video, make sure you check us out on Patreon at www.patreon.com slash hookah anonymous underscore. You guys been telling us to create one for the longest. So we recently created a community where we will upload videos that we can't share on YouTube due to their guidelines. We'll also be dropping the latest to their first behind the scenes information that you wouldn't find anywhere else on our socials. So make sure you become a member. And after you do that, head over to our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore and follow us there. Now, without further ado, let's get into what you guys came here to see. Now, I always tell y'all that I feel FBG Young out of everybody, even though sometimes people like to throw shade on his name for unknown reasons. Young seems to be the type of person that sit back and minds his business, staying to himself. He's not running around acting extra, doing interviews, being extra, calling guys out and doing things for attention. Recently, he's been all over social media because everyone had mixed opinions about Young allowing DJ UTV to admit that he said he was smoking on Tuka back in 2019. And not once, not twice, but around three to four times during the interview. Some people felt that Young was supposed to crash out and press DJU about his comments, and some feel that Young handled himself accordingly, given the circumstance. Now, do I think DJU meant harm by the comments? No. But I do feel there's a time and place for everything, because if he did want to reveal that, that's something that could have been said off camera, behind the scenes. However, I also understand the fact that sometimes certain things are done for content purposes, and maybe that was the aim at the time when the comment was made, or maybe it just came to him when he said it. I don't know. But recently, an interview DJ you had with King Lil J, Lil J also pressed him about the comments about smoking on Tuka, and he says that he shouldn't have said that, and if he was there when DJ U said it, he would have pretty much crashed out. So once again, it's mixed opinions about what Young shoulda, coulda, or woulda did, but that's the internet for you. However, let's get into FYB J Main and FBG Young's latest interview. FYB J Man will proceed to ask Young about a comment he made where he stated that Young said, quote, I feel like if Duck was still alive, N words would just been sucking D somewhere. Like if Duck was still alive, it just would have been sucking somewhere. Now, of course, FYB J Man pressed him about the comments because he feels, well, who was you talking about? Um, yeah. Yo, who the would have been sucking? Because I'm trying Niggas. to figure it out. I, what was you talking about right there? Right? When you said y'all or. N words would just be sucking D somewhere. Who's the N words you referring to? Because it's only a handful of us. So funny part is, <laughs> Young replied, "I wasn't just talking about you. You not the you not don't, don't just think I'm talking about you because you not the only person. Don't like, think you just talking about me. Right now, at first I thought Young was being bold as hell because to tell a man to his face he wasn't just talking about him when referring to sucking D is crazy. But Young cleaned it up and said that he didn't mean it in that way. However, when he did make the comment, he was referring to King Yella because he feel that if Duck was still alive, he wouldn't be on the internet singing happy birthday to Little Dirt. King Yella will be the nigga who be who will be sucking if folks was here right here right now. He, I feel like you would never be on this saying happy birthday to you to Duck if folks was here. Now we're going to get back into that, but let's get into what King Yella had to say as a response. Y'all know it wouldn't be like King Yella to hear his name and not respond. So he took to his Instagram story, and this is what he had to say. Check it out. Hey, yo, let me tell you something. Don't let Duck. Duck wasn't my big homie. Duck ain't one. Nothing I did. That was y'all big homie. I do what I want to do. I say happy birthday to whoever I want to say. Do whatever I want to do. You talking about your so goofy? Never did nothing. Ain't on the, the, the weakest link. I was sparing your. But now, he was a goofy. Man. Now, in this situation, I must say I totally agree with FBG Young because he's saying the same thing we've been saying from the beginning. First off, Yella can no longer say that he was doing it to try to push peace 
because as we see time after time, his actions show the total opposite. Can't say you pushing peace, but getting into it with different people every other day. It's contradictory. And he stated that Duck wasn't his big homie and he couldn't run anything that he did. However, we know that he calls Duck his brother. So it's not about being a big homie or running anything he's doing. It's more so out of respect. That's if you're considering someone to be your brother, right? Because let's put it into perspective. Imagine me knowing that this man over there is cool with the same guys that took my brother's life and I'm sitting here trying to be cool going out of my way and wishing this man a happy birthday. It just don't make sense. And now put the shoe on the other foot. Do you think you'll ever see little Dirk wishing the guys that took D-Thing's life a happy birthday or trying to be cool with them? Never in life. And I get it because some people are going to say, well, who is about pushing peace. It's about, you know, trying to bring things together. And I get it. However, you can't push peace or bring things together with someone who doesn't want to come together with you, right? If he doesn't want to do it, he just don't want to do it. In some things, you just have to draw the line on. That's similar to what I was saying about the Adam 22 situation disrespecting Mama Duck, right? If FBG Duck is my brother, I know he's no longer here, and somebody's playing with his mother, I got to check him. I don't care how wrong she is. We'll talk about that later. But if you're publicly disrespecting my brother's mother, I got to check you for that. And I'm not doing no interview with you because you was disrespectful to my brother's mother. Or even if I do the interview, I'm going to make sure you apologize or do something. But I just can't sit there and condone that. But you know, you got people that's going to say, oh, he was getting to a bag. That's his money. I get it. But everybody's morals, values, and principles, I guess, are just different. Now, let's be real, right? If Duck was alive, I don't think a lot of things would be going on that these guys are doing. Not just King Yellow, just in general. Right, because if you notice, a lot of these guys started exposing themselves in certain behaviors after Duck passed. So what does that tell you? I'm not saying he's anybody big homie. He wasn't, but Duck was who he was. When it came to the GDs or whatever, Duck was at the forefront, right? When it was a BD versus GD and you know it was O blocking, it was Duck versus Dirt or Duck versus King Vaughn. You know, either way, it was always Duck at the forefront because when you thought about the GDs, that's who you thought of. Yes, it was other guys, but like I said, Duck was at the forefront. And as we've seen, a lot of stuff started changing as soon as he passed. Everybody noticed it. So it just is what it is. So when it comes to FBG Young and what he said um, in regards to King Ella, um, I'm pretty sure he's not the only one that feel like that. Nine times out of ten, that's the talks behind the scenes. You know, and um, at this point, it's like <laughs> the BDs don't even have to do nothing. These guys are self-sabotaging themselves. You know, going against each other. And let's make this clear because I know it's going to be people in the comments saying things like, oh, who could you don't want it to be peace? And no, that's not what it is. Let me tell you one thing, right? It's one thing to be cordial and it's another thing for me to be cool with you. We don't have to be cool, right? We don't have to be friends and buddy, buddy, but we could be cordial where I don't mention your name in records. I don't say anything about you. You know, if I see you, we don't have to do anything to each other, but I'm not going out my way to be overly cool with you like things is all cool like blood haven't been spilt in the streets that's what i'm saying and another thing what people gotta understand is like they say king Yella isn't technically from where they from so at the end of the day maybe he don't feel it as much as they do because he didn't go through certain things when it comes to them losing certain people that was important to them right so like i said it's a lot that come into play but it is what it is, man. Y'all get in the comments. Let us know how y'all feel about this. What do y'all think about the comment that FBG Young made? Um, Do y'all feel that a lot has been going on since Duck passed that wouldn't be going on if he was still here or not? All right. Jump in the comments. Let us know what y'all think about this. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as you keep on watching, I'm going to keep on dropping. And I'm out.